Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Plays Day Z. Well, you asked for it, so you are going to get it. This is, if you didn't watch my Let's Look At, a survival zombie mod for Arma 2. And apparently, people really enjoyed watching it, which is happy, or makes me happy, I should say. Uh, because I really enjoy playing it as well, and I have this motto, which I, hopefully a lot of people, you know, resonate, or resonates with a lot of people, that if I'm playing it, you know, most of the time I might as well be recording it, as long as it's not something that's exceptionally boring, or I am just completely ignorant of the game's concepts. But anyway, so we're starting here, we've got our basic equipment, as we always do, bandages, beans, a little bit of ammo. Hey zombie, um, that's really shitty that there's a zombie right here already. We'll just go into first person mode, take him out, and then bandage ourselves up, hopefully. I think he's dead, awesome. Um, wow, that was pretty bad. So let's bandage ourselves. That really surprised me, <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. So we'll bandage ourselves up so that we don't bleed out here. Uh, lost a fair amount of ammunition there, which is unfortunate, but okay. We survived our first little problem there. Let's check out and see if the zombie has any gear on it. No, he does not, so we'll move onward and see yourself. So, Daisy, step one, usually, for me anyway, is that someone over there? I don't think so. Uh, is find some good supplies. So, I mean, you can you can get a lot of leverage out of the supplies that you start with. But eventually, if you want to survive longer than a few hours, you are going to get pretty darn hungry, pretty darn thirsty. And you're going to want better weapons, most likely. So, I'm just going to make my way through here, and we'll see what happens. So, just in terms of, like, the mechanics of this... Uh, I'm not going to call it a Let's Play, but this, this series... Um, I'm not really sure yet. I'm just gonna kind of take it as it as it comes, you know. Uh, similar to the Trials Evolution series, man. There's two zombies here. I can deal with two zombies to get to that loot. So let's get low here. Uh, so yeah, there might be some editing. There might not be any editing. It might just be hours of me scouring for cans of beans on the coast, but that's okay. Now, reminder here: killing zombies is not as easy as it is in like a Left 4 Dead or something. And this is definitely going to alert the horde when I fire these gunshots, so I want to make sure that I'm reasonably safe. You hear that dog? Oh, oh god! This server is zombie crazy, man! This guy's not dead yet? He's got to go down now. It was like four shots. Yeah, okay, now the zombies are going to come after me. I guess there are 717 zombies. Which is pretty remarkable. Oh, I got a headshot there, I think. For uh, a map of this size. It seems like one of the recent patches... Oh, there's a dude here! Is that a dude? He's doing like a dance or something. No, nope, that's just a ton of zombies. I think a bunch of zombies just respawned right in front of me. Awesome. But I think these guys might not see me. But yeah, there was a, a patch like two days after I started playing the game. And I think that patch... Made it so there were way, way more zombies, which is not good for me. I don't have a whole lot of ammunition. Oh, he's on to me. I don't have a whole lot of ammunition left. So I gotta be careful. Choose your shot wisely, you know? He says as he just whiffs over and over. As you might expect, headshot's a little bit harder in this game, but I think I got one there. I might do it on ammo. Not good. <laughs> the answer to that question, not good. But aiming in first person, if you watch my Let's Look At, you saw me fail to murder that guy, basically. By aiming in third person. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's like ten more zombies just over the ridge there. Uh, aiming in third person doesn't work nearly as well. This guy is definitely on to me. Did I get him? I think I got him already, wow. So let's take out this last one. Doing fine on blood. I just really need some more ammunition desperately. Ah. Luckily, that zombie's just gonna chill there, I guess. Cool. Alright, so we've killed six zombies already with four headshots. That's better than I did last time. Now, let's pray that there is some half decent loot in here. Yep, of course, just empty shelves. Uh, and yeah, I can't open that door either. Alright, so we'll just move on. That is really unfortunate. I thought I heard footsteps behind me. Hmm. Oh, who's that? That's a zombie. God damn, man. Where'd he go? Oh, God, the graphic's still a little bit glitchy. Oh, good, more zombies. I'm um, probably gonna die here, almost certainly. Let's start running. Yeah, there's another zombie there. Maybe I can climb a ladder or something. Get out of first person view! Run! 
There's a ladder right there. Alright, this is, uh, I think, our only chance, but once I get up this ladder, this is basically me saying, I'm probably gonna die up here. But man, look at it, I've already killed eight zombies in like two minutes. It's insanity here, I hear gunshots now. Let's look around. What's going on here? You heard the gunshots too, right? It isn't just me. Well, all the zombies are gone. That's cool. Uh, I think somebody else's bullets did the work for me. Which is great. Maybe there's a nice person out here. Guess I'm just going to fall down this ladder. <laughs> kind of wanted to see if there was some kind of gear up here. But, no, that's cool. Okay, I'll just come down this way. Let's take a look around. Alright, I guess we'll try to pick up some gear now. I don't know what happened to those zombies. But, you know, Lord knows I am happy that they are gone. Let's try not to fall down off this ladder and break our legs. Okay, get on this ladder. Sometimes ladders can be a little finicky as I get on it all wonky. Remember the game is still in alpha. And they've probably been spending a lot of their time over the past couple of weeks just dealing with this increased demand. So animations like that are still, you know, gonna happen. Looks like we got some empty cans here. Scrap metal. Um, I guess I'll take that. I don't know what it's used for, but it seems like a half-decent supply. Don't really want those empty cans on the ground, though. How about this? We got more empty cans? Those are just leaves. Okay, let's just continue moving on here. Zombies respawn, so, you know, even though I've killed eight zombies, that's not necessarily a triumph, because, you know, there's just gonna be more later. It's not like... It's not like there's an end game here where eventually you kill all the zombies and you guys just live in a, a perfectly democratic society. Like, obviously, things are supposed to be bad. Basically from the get-go here. You also, of course, not only fear the zombies, you gotta fear your fellow man. Especially me. I'm in a bandit skin right now, so nobody's gonna trust me. They're just gonna shoot me right off the bat. Which is probably fair, because I would do the same to them. There's probably like 60 people on this server, so there's a decent chance we'll run into someone else. And I basically, you know, shoot first, ask questions later. Got a whole life to get, get over the guilt. And I want that life to be as long as possible. So we got any gear in here. Does not appear so, but we'll take a look at the staircase and see. Oh, there's a tire? Yeah, I will definitely take that. Maybe we can fix up a car later. Oh, I don't have enough room in my inventory for it. Well, that's, you know, I guess the tire can wait. It's a shame, because I've heard people talking about, like, getting car parts and fixing up cars and driving them around. And that sounds badass. It takes a lot to get me excited about vehicle sequences in games anymore. When I was like, when I was a teenager and like Halo came out, that was amazing. Like, vehicles in a first person shooter? My god. I mean, I think I bought Unreal 2 just for the specific reason that it had vehicles in it. And I was like, I gotta support innovative game design like this. But now it's kind of boring. Uh, but in DayZ, when you have to actually work for it, it feels like you're, you know, you're gaining something. But in the meantime, we're just gonna continue looking for supplies. In terms of, like, blood, doing fine. In terms of food, I think we're okay. We got two cans of baked beans still. Not saying I couldn't use some more. I think for now we're okay. And as I was saying earlier, yeah, there used to be, like, not that many zombies. Like, I, I remember the first game I joined, I think it was Pitch Black, which I've mentioned a couple times, but uh, there were, like, 70 zombies on the entire map, and it, I didn't run into any for, like, an hour. Now there's routinely, uh, you know, I've seen upwards of a thousand, which is crazy. Kind of hoping there was some gear up here, but I guess not. There's a lot of people who have played this game, like, religiously, and they're really into, like, the map, and they know exactly the landmarks and the towns that they come across and stuff. I'm still basically, like, like someone just airdropped me into a, a post-Soviet nation. I have no idea how to get around, no idea what any of the town names are, which is kind of nice, you know? It makes me feel... The, the realism, I think, is more pronounced. Looks like we have a new weapon here. Is that the Winchester? Yes, I will absolutely take the Winchester 1866 as well as the ammunition here on the ground. Oh, I thought I took the ammunition. Let's look. Tori, we got two slugs? Not a lot. But it's something anyway. Let's uh, equip our Winchester here. So we've got that out instead of our pistol. We do only... Oh, we have, uh, we have two uh, boxes of slugs. Okay. So we have a fair amount of ammunition here. And this is good, Winchester's gonna give us a little bit of uh, increased range. 
Should be nice in case we find a good spot to, uh, you know, snipe from if necessary. But we got a lot of things to worry about before we get to that. We're still going to continue looking for supplies. But getting a good weapon is a good start. You see, ZPA friendly shoot on sight. See, this is the, one of the things I don't like about global chat. Is when people get when people die, they get a little butt hurt and they start shouting out like, "Who is the bandit and who who can be trusted?" Which I kind of feel takes a little bit away from the realism of the game. Like I understand that that sucks. Thought I saw someone down there. I think it was just someone popping in. Oh, we got problems. Thank God I got this new weapon. <laughs> I think these zombies just spawned all around me. I just ran down this road. Alright, there you go. The Winchester's killing them in one shot. Wow. And it's also quieter than my pistol. That's gonna help me out. My guy's a little bit scared, but otherwise unharmed. That shot hit? No. I don't think so. That one did. It should have, anyway. Jesus Christ. Wasting all my Winchester ammunition. I wanted to use this to kill bad dudes. So far, 11 zombies killed. We're approaching, like, my record, probably. My record is probably around a dozen. But I kind of liked it when the game was more, like, sparse, when there weren't nearly as many zombies around. Because it made it less of a challenge to, you know, get supplies, meet up with people. Now it is a, a real problem. Man, you guys were totally right in the comments of the, the last video, where you're like, you killed him and you didn't even take his Winchester? What a waste. This thing is felling zombies, no problem. As you can see right there. Alright, so let's continue finding supplies. I'm a zombie killing master. Well, let's not go that far. <laughs> but I'm doing something. Which is more than you can say for my, most of my time in this game. What's up with this dude? He's trapped like a cold plate of scientist video. Okay. How you doing, buddy? I'm going to imagine that he's okay. Uh, let's search his body for gear. <laughs> Nothing. Kind of what I expected. Okay. Alright, we've found a town over here. Again, I apologize if you are a Daisy aficionado. And you know exactly what you're doing. And maybe I'm going in the direction of my imminent death. But for now, towns equal loot. And also people that I can murder, which also equals loot. And I gotta say, I kind of really like that after uh, the first DayZ video went up, I always feel like I'm saying Jay-Z. Man, there's a lot of zombies here. I kind of like that after that first video went up, there were people who were like, man, you are a fucking douchebag. You killed that guy after he helped you? Like, I hope you die in real life. And the reason I like that is because it's like, it emphasizes that this game has an effect on people. Like, people are emotionally invested in it. And, you know, in real life, I'm actually kind of a nice guy, but in this game, I am a, a cold, heartless douchebag. But it's very similar to Dark Souls in the sense that I'm a cold, heartless douchebag because I've been murdered by jerk-offs, too. Holy shit, that's... Oh, that's a zombie. I thought that was a dude. I'm so much more excited to kill dudes. Those are zombies. So let's just stay calm. Knock him down. That was easy. Whoever gave me that tip in the comments to just right-click to aim down the sights, that has made my zombie-killing life way easier. Because before, I was taking, like, a whole clip per zombie. Gotta reload. Not very many bullets left. But on the bright side, I am a... Zombie felling bastard here. By far the most that I've ever killed. 22. And hopefully that number continues to increase. How we doing? Still more coming, huh? I may have uh, attracted the horde. And ruined my own life. I've really got to bandage myself up. Let's do that as soon as possible. Oh my god, I don't have any more bandages. I think I took some painkillers, but that's not going to stop me from bleeding out if that's... You know, Daisy's plan for me. But there's 29 zombies killed. Soon to be 30. Got to reload again. Oh god, I think I only have 15 Winchester slugs left. 
Never mind, 15 would have been awesome. I only have one Winchester slug left, and then I gotta go back to my Makarov. Still, 30 zombies killed. This is renowned, or this is amazing for me. I think I should take the more stealthy approach next time. Without the Winchester, I would have been dead ages ago. So these guys are saying they hear gunfire. That's me. Uh, I shot 15 zombies. Maybe you could have come and helped me out so I could fill you full of lead. So let's get up here on this, uh, this hill. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? More zombies? And I'm thinking maybe I should just run from this one. <laughs> I can't take on a whole horde right now, unfortunately. So we'll just run. I'll assume that, you know, I'm better off than they are. I can hear them behind me, but I also see a ladder. And I see a building, which means we could find some loot. There's only two. There's only one. Let's take out our Makarov. Take your time, buddy. Now there's more. That was a headshot right there, yeah. Oh my god. This is really bad for business here. I can't run anymore. Yes, I can. But I'm losing a lot of blood. And a lot of ammunition as well. I should probably stop reloading for no reason. Oh my god. Okay. Am I bleeding out? I don't think so. Pray that there is some amazing loot in here. <laughs> Seriously, 35 zombies killed is like... Something I never expected. Uh, usually I get like eight. So let's look for some loot here. What do we got? What is that? Binoculars? That's good. Uh, it's the second video where I picked up binoculars, which is kind of crazy. Normally those, uh, I think, are a little bit rare. It's only the second time I've come across them, so to get them both in videos is a little unusual for me. We'll continue doing some scouting here, trying to pick up some good gear. At the very least, going up some stairs so I have a chance. Is that a flashlight? I hear zombies. Smoke grenades, so we'll take those. 30 rounds for the Stanag flashlight, definitely take that. That replaced something in my inventory, I think, but that's okay. I lost my Makarov. Yeah, let's take the Makarov back. That's more important than the flashlight. And keep going upstairs. Because I hear zombies. And with another pair of binoculars. Weird, man. And I don't want anything from the top of this floor. I'm kind of scared to go down this ladder. Oh, oh god! Well, at least they're lining up for easy headshots. And I think that might have been my last bullet. I hear more zombies. Maybe I should throw some smoke grenades. Crawling zombie. Oh, he's getting up now. 38 zombies killed. Reload, reload. Good thing this guy's slow. Oh my god, you brought your friend too. 40, 41 zombies killed, 27 headshots. Desperately need ammunition. <laughs> I cannot survive much longer in this wasteland. And of course, as I run out here, oh, a thousand zombies, awesome. Do I have any ammo? I think I have two shots left. And some smoke grenades. Well, you know what, let's check one of these just for fun. I've never used a smoke grenade in this game, and I'm probably going to die soon anyway. So let's just drop one right here. Two shots left. Don't waste them. I could use a flare, but I don't think that's going to help me out. That was not a good shot. Reload. Reload. One bullet. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to shoot a zombie. Okay. Well, I am probably going to die now. I am passing out, and he is feasting on my flesh. Oh, God. We'll see what happens when this hourglass fills up again. You can see I'm going to bleed out regardless. I'm, I'm basically just on borrowed time right now. And that was not a good run for me. I think I'm coming back to life now, though. Yep. All right. 
we're, we're back, sort of. Try to move along here. Bleeding profusely. Oh, God. I have no bullets left. Chuck, a, chuck another smoke grenade so people know where to find the body. Get this delicious loot. Basically nothing for me to do. I think he's eating my remaining flesh. Oh, man, I am bleeding profusely here. Why don't you finish me off, man? Just finish me off. I'm not sure if there's, like, a way to use melee attacks or anything. Like, if I look at my gear, I have nothing. I got painkillers. No, I don't. I think I've already taken all those. Well, I mean, this is a, a pretty good example of um, one life, at least one of my average lives in DayZ. It's above average in the sense that I killed 41 zombies, and I did not expect for that to happen. But this is around the average length of my life, so maybe, you know, uh, what you can probably expect from this Let's Play, or, you know, Northern Lion Plays, is one life per video, although, you know, I'm not going to guarantee that if I end up having some four-hour lives, but pretty good demonstration of DayZ right there. 41 zombies killed, 27 headshots, zero murders for once. But I'm still a bandit, and I would love to actually run into some people next time. As always, thank you guys for watching and showing your support for this new series. I will see you next time.